I'm JC, the VP of Hardware here at Output. I help design platform, and now I'm gonna show you how to build it. When you're building platform, we highly recommend that you use a drill. However, when using a drill, be familiar with the clutch. What the clutch does is it keeps you from overdriving the screws into the side of the desk. So you should really just start with a low setting and work your way up to when the driver drives the screw in flush against the side of the desk without denting it. When you open up the box, the first thing you're gonna notice is the manual. You need to read the manual. You've already probably opened the manual because the URL to get here is in the manual. Even though you're watching this, still read the manual. The hardware is going to be in the top corner of the box. Open it up and make sure the hardware in here matches what the manual says the hardware in here should be. Now that I've finished the inventory, I'm going to start taking parts out of the box and put them on this rug. Make sure to put down a blanket, a rug, anything so no flat sides of the wood are touching any hard surfaces except for the rug. The first parts you're going to put together are putting the front legs on the back legs. When you do this, it's really important that these two holes right here are actually closer to the floor. Because when you put the front legs on it, there's going to be a part you're going to put on later where if these aren't oriented this way, it won't fit. When you have the front leg, look for this dado joint right here, because that means it's the top of the desk, and this is the bottom of the desk. When you're putting the front leg on the back leg, make sure the dado is facing the ground. Okay, we're going to first use the confer mats, and we're going to put this hole into that hole, and this hole into that hole, so we just need to line them up. The next step is we need to nail the feet into the bottom of the legs. On this next step, you're really going to want to grab a friend. Scott! What Scott has is the modesty panel, which is the piece with the three big slots. We're going to grab the modesty panel and place it like this so the three holes are toward the top of the desk away from the feet and I'm going to drill it into the back of the legs. Now it's time to stand it up. And Scott will rotate that around so the modesty panel reaches my side. We're now gonna attach the wire deck to the bottom of the desktop. I'm now gonna trade the drill for a hand driver Phillips because with the drill, it's really easy to strip the screws at this part. I'm now going to grab all eight of these really scary looking screws and all eight of these standoffs. So these go through like this and then there are the pre-drilled holes and we basically just need to get all eight of them in there. It's easier if you just kind of like pivot it. Yeah, line it up and get the bottom ones kind of in the hole and then start screwing them in. If you have the optional keyboard tray, this is when you'd put it on right now. And you can see the guide holes right here and the bottom of the desk. We're now going to take the desktop and put it on the assembly that we assembled earlier. I'm going to grab four confer mats and my drill, and we're going to go to town. We're now going to put these round things that we lovingly here refer to as screw pizzas into the rack dividers. Make sure that the screw side is lined up so it's sticking out perpendicular to the bottom. Then you will want to pop them all open. And the cool thing about the dividers is that we designed it so these are reversible. So you can have the angle side out if you want that kind of sleek look, or if you want more room, if you flip these, you can put the flat side out, which gives you about that much more space on your desktop. The rack holes still line up. You can still rack gear. So it's a cool little option. However, for this, I am going to assemble it with the angle side out. Make sure that these are always facing, when you're looking at the desk, these are always facing the right. I'm now gonna put on the top. What you wanna do is the dado, which is this little valley right here, needs to line up with the top of the dividers. 
and the holes for your cable management are facing the back of the desk. So I'm now going to screw in the top with the comfort mats. You will have one extra. We gave you one extra in case you damage one of these because this is the most important screw on the desk. And next, we're gonna tighten the screw pieces. You do that by getting down here in between the dividers and these parts that are sticking out, you basically just close them. And the last thing we're gonna do is put in the rack ears. You can also do this when the dividers are out before you assemble them. I actually find it easier to do it right here. It is done. Enjoy your platform. Be creative.